Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about another invasive plant that's found here in the Commonwealth, and that's Myelominute vine. This species was actually first detected in the United States in York County uh, only a few decades ago, and it's quickly spread throughout Pennsylvania and much of the eastern United States. As the name suggests, Myelominute vine grows very quickly, and as you can see here on this roadside, can quickly overtake any sort of native vegetation and can even climb up into trees. Probably the easiest way to identify Milam in it is by its leaves, which are triangular in shape. Also, the stems have spines, and you'll notice that by mid to late summer, it will begin to put on fruits. These fruits start out as light green, but will quickly turn to a purple and bluish color before they ripen and fall off the plant. This species can be found anywhere, roadsides, canopy gaps in a forest, the edges of lawns, uh, birds and wildlife eat the seeds and spread this very quickly. When it comes to trying to control or treat myelin in it, you can use a glyphosate product with a surfactant. However, you have to be careful because spraying this whole area might kill any native plants the myelin in it is growing upon. Another way to control this species is to use a pre-emergent herbicide that actually inhibits new seeds from germinating next year and thereby stopping the cycle of new plants producing new seeds. Over the last 10 years here in Pennsylvania, we've been releasing biocontrols for myelin in it. These weevils will actually damage the leaves, as you can see here, and form almost like a shotgun pattern. They'll also create a lot of damage right at the nodes where the leaves meet the vine stem of the plant. They don't necessarily kill myelin in it, but they do knock it back, sometimes prevent it from producing seed, and help our native plants to outcompete the myelin in it a little bit better in a natural setting. 